This video is called Smart Goals Step 1, Picking Your Priorities. The first step I want you to take is completing an inventory of your health-related behaviors, including, but definitely not limited to these areas. Nutrition and hydration, physical activity, not just exercise routine, but your daily movement habits, sleep habits, stress level, mental wellness, and then work-life balance. And then any other area that you feel important. Next, rank them in order of importance or priority and for each on a scale of zero to 10, how ready or confident are you in making a change? Zero, not at all, ready, ready or confident. To 10, you're completely ready and confident. At this step, think through why each of these areas is important to you to help you rank them. Then really be honest with yourself of how ready and confident you feel to make a change in each of these areas. Okay, so far you have your five areas ranked in order of importance and how ready you feel to make a change. Now for each, what would help you get closer to a 10, meaning more confident and ready to make a change? This can include any of the following. More planning, making a written or verbal commitment, needing family or friend support, seeking outside assistance, like a coach or health professional, finding out more information, self-education through reading, or maybe it's something else for you. Now think about what the benefits of making this change would be. Examples, improved health, feel better or have more energy, Maybe have more self-confidence. Maybe there are specific benefits that because you can do them with your family or friends. Or what else is it for you? What are possible barriers that may make this change difficult? Ask yourself that and write it down. What do you feel like has been stopping you from making a change already? Or that makes it overwhelming to even make a change? Could it be not enough time, too busy, lack of resources, no support, don't know where to start, fear, anxiety, could be a mental barrier. What strategies or backup plans can help you work through those possible barriers? Ask yourself that and write that down. Maybe it's taking time at lunch to walk, talking to a care team about possible resources, working with a health coach. What else would that be for you? What will help you stay accountable and support you as you make these changes? Support and accountability can help you stay on track, very much so, with friends, family, a support group, your care team, yourself using some type of tracking device, or writing it down, or what else for you? What else is gonna hold you accountable? All right, so you've done the hard work and gotten real with yourself about where your priorities are, mapped out what challenges or barriers you might face, and what strategies you'll use to overcome them. You've also thought about what the benefits to making those changes are, and that should be exciting. Here's a fun fact for you to end with on this video, that motivation must come after taking action. By taking action, that will breed motivation. Action first, motivation will come. You got this.